seen it. I have this, seen this family rally around Catherine as she battled this monster of cancer. Thank you, Martin. You are an amazing son. And by the way, they say the apple doesn't fall too far away from the tree. When you listen to Rachel, Catherine's mom, <laughs> then you see the demeanor, the candor, the confidence, the sense of humor, incredible sense of humor that Catherine brought to our screens. This apple didn't fall too far away from the tree. And when you see Martin also, you see so much of the mother. But you do that because it's a family that joined the dots of family. Because you have to join those dots. We say in this lawyer community that uh, if you want blood ties to really mean something, you spice it with friendship. So that you are more than just family, your family who are also friends. I have seen it in this family. But it's also amazing to have true friends. Friends who are real friends no matter what. I have also seen it during this difficult journey around Catherine. And I really want to applaud you, Martha. You're such a special lady. You are an amazing human being, Martha Karua. I have seen such an amazing spirit of friendship from Martha. Martha is my learned senior in the legal profession. She's also my senior in the journey of politics and leadership. When I first walked into parliament in 2007, I like saying that I was inserted into parliament through the funness of the 2007 post-election crisis. And I walked into a parliament where Martha was a senior. And she was also minister, senior minister in the Kibaki administration. So she's one of those people who mentored me during a very difficult time, even though we were opposite the aisle. Her on the PNU side, me on the ODM side. And I want to tell you, this lady Martha Karua is a great lady, is a great Kenyan. Thank you for being such a true friend. Asante sana, Martha. Um, as a community, the Mulembe Nation, we have no choice. We have absolutely no choice. We have to pull in the same direction. We have to rally together. Because there's no other way of unleashing the full force of our demographic strength we are a demographically powerful community in this country. Tunajua kuzaa, na huwa tuzaa ikiduko kidogo, tunazaa properly. We are many, we are brilliant people. You can see Catherine is one of us, brilliant person. There's no reason why we cannot deploy our demographic power to be a significant block in the affairs of the Republic of Kenya. No reason at all. So, please, everybody pulls in their direction, and it's okay, it's accepted. But after we have voted and you have dropped that ballot paper, and the ballots have been tallied and results announced, there's no reason why we cannot work together and serve our people and move in the same direction. Absolutely no reason. So, my brothers who are here, Mwishmiwa Sloya, Mwishmiwa Sotsi, our chairman, Mwishmiwa wa luke ndiyo mwenye kiti wa wabunge wote Wakutoka eneo letu la magaribi My brother, my brother senior here I see a very good opportunity And Mwishmiwa wa luke, you said it very well, juzi tulipokuwa kakamega I see such a fantastic opportunity for us to work together Let me assure you, I sit in cabinet responsible for youth affairs, sports, and the arts. I hold this position in trust for you as a community and as a country. <laughs> this position of cabinet secretary is not personal property. No. It's a position held in public trust. I want to use this position so that we can make the lives of our people better. 
the lives of our young people, the lives of our sports people, the lives of our artists better. And I want to work with all of you. All of you without any, uh, any distinction. Mishma Aladwa Mea, we unajua, mimi ni naomba sana tufanya kazi pamoja. Uh, tutembe pamoja so that we can serve our people without any distinction of politics or anything. Ninawashukuru sana. Ninaomboleza Catherine, nilimpenda Catherine sana. She was such an inspiration in so many ways. I had the privilege, God gave me the privilege to sit with Catherine 26 days before God called him, God called her to himself. On the third day I was with her, we prayed together, we walked down memory lane on so many things. 26 days later, I got the bad news that uh, we had lost the fight to cancer. And we have to do more in this country in the fight against cancer, especially in diagnostics. We are losing the battle against cancer at the diagnostic level. We have to invest more in diagnosis so that we can identify it and deal with it before it becomes a monster. So to be familiar, now my dear sister Catherine, go well. God preserve your soul in eternal peace. Na tutaku join to sooner, later, at whatever stage, we are all headed in that direction. Asante ni sana, 